thank you for staying with us. Now we're over to the hot topics. And our first hot topic for today is Tinubu to present 2024 budget on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. We have with us Bolahan Oluijede, who's a public policy analyst. Good morning, Mr. Bolahan. Yeah, good morning. Nice to be on the program. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so we have with us Tinubu, who's going to present the 2024 budget tomorrow however what are your impressions have you, i'm sure you've seen the figure we're looking at 27 about 27 trillion what are your impressions on this budget okay um on a general basis our budgets are too tiny mm -hmm. uh, but i'm not so sure it will have done better because for you to post a bigger budget um you need to have been able to work on the revenue uh, but within the few months that he has been in the saddle um uh, it may be too short to dramatically rev up the revenue to the kind of levels uh, we would have loved to see. At uh, 27.5 trillion naira, which is barely about $37 uh, billion, dollars, we're just about 20% of South Africa's budget. Um, and considering the fact that we are 200 million people, while South Africa is just 60 million, uh, you can see how paltry uh our budget is however if we're dedicated to it and we execute with the right level of discipline uh, we might be able to begin to stabilize uh the economy mm. and maybe pull us out eventually out of the uh, economic quagmire over the next uh, few years okay so do you think we'll be making <laughs> revenues for this to be able to have more in our economy I didn't hear what you said about the revenue. Do you think we'll be able to make more revenue, like with this budget? Because some people are calling it unambitious. And um, so for our revenue generating budgets that we say in quotes, would we be able to make that? It's, it's challenging, um, but we, we have to shoot for it. We have to at least aim high and work at it. The, the beauty of the Nigerian economy is the fact that uh, the potential for doing well, as far as revenue is concerned, is there. So it's a matter of how much work we're willing to put in to make those assets that we have. You know, we, we say we have the largest GDP in Africa. How come? I mean, that, this is a fundamental question we should just ask. How come? that with the largest GDP in Africa, we are only able to generate 20% uh, of, uh, 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 of what South Africa, which is a smaller economy, is generating for the federal government, for its own federal government. How come? So it means that we are not sweating the asset for Nigeria. We're not sweating that GDP to the level or the right way, the appropriate way to sweat it, to make it generate what we want it to generate. So that is the challenge right there. The opportunity is there. The economy has that capacity. We only need to drive it to make it happen. Fix all the distortions here and there. Get a bit more discipline. Uh, and and, and it, is, it is possible. The revenue is possible. And I believe that if we set our mind to it, not only is that revenue possible, but it is possible over the years, say the next three, four years, to be able to do like three times what we're looking at on that on that budget hmm. okay let's look at the parameters uh, on which this budget was even prepared uh, we have a deficit of nine trillion naira and the revenue projected is 18 trillion naira but we also have uh, oil production per day at uh, 1.8 uh, million barrels per day 77 naira of uh, 77 dollars for oil uh, per barrel and then exchange rate 750 per dollar then we also have inflation 21.4 percent and economic growth at 3.6 percent let's look at these specifics how realizable are these parameters that we've set our budget on quite quite challenging uh, but not on some amount um for example if you take the inflation figure uh, of 21 percent inflation is currently at 27.3 there about i believe um and bookmakers are saying that the inflation figure may actually climb as high as 30 percent by the end of the year so the question is what is the basis 
for thinking that we can get 21% inflation rate um, in, the, in the budget year 2024. Um, what has started to happen is that the rate of increase of inflation is slowing down. Yes, it is still increasing, but it is now, in, it is now increasing at a slower rate, which means that if we do the right things and sustain it, we can actually at some point flip that increase, first of all to a plateau, and then begin to have declines. What can we do to get to all those stages? A very good example of what I call a low-hanging fruit is in the food side of things. See, anytime you break down our inflation figure, you see that the food inflation is a huge component, is a major driver of the composite number. What that says is that if we can deal with food matters, we can moderate the composite inflation figure that we currently have. That is essentially the message that those numbers are passing through. So the next question then is, can we, can we do something about food? And I believe we can. We have the land, we have the water, and we have all it takes to produce more in this country. The government, for example, had mentioned, oh, we're going to um, cultivate 500,000 more hectares of land. And my question is, when are we going to start? If in July, when government said that, we have put corn in the ground, by now, the corn has matured and it's in the market. So it is in the place of beginning to implement that we can begin to see changes that could deliver 2024 the way we have projected. If we don't put in the work, it will just be uh, 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 a, a book. Okay. Um, it so will just be a bogus set of numbers if we don't put in the works, and we will not be able to get to where we ought to get. That is the reality. Uh, 750 uh, Naira exchange rate, we are not quite there, but is it possible to get there? The answer is yes. So, what are those market distortions that we need to deal with? One, what are the supply issues that we can muster at this level? Because some of the supply issues for foreign exchange are a bit on the fiscal side, and they will take some time to be able to get there. But what are those ones that we can begin to deal with in the immediate? Those are the focus for 2024. So, for me, it is challenging, it is quite ambitious, but it is not unsurmountable. Yeah, but, you know, we also have the, the production capacity of Nigeria. It was only in September that it rose to 1.3 million barrels per day. And this one is pegged at more than that, 1.8 million barrels per day. And like Rumer said, it's, it's ambitious, and mm -hmm. a lot of people have said it is ambitious. How do we plan to even get to 1.5 million barrels per day? Uh, let alone the 1.8 that is being pecked at? Yeah, typically, uh, when you're putting together budget numbers and you are, you know, coming up with this assumption, uh, it is believed that you already have an idea of where those things are going to be coming from. Uh, are there certain wells that have been shut in uh, for a certain period that are coming on stream right now? Are there certain uh, 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 difficulties we have faced in the past? For example, issues around oil theft that we are now overcoming. Um, let, let, let's, let's be frank. This country had once produced 2.5 million barrels per day. So what that says to me is that it is not an impossibility. We just must be asking ourselves those critical questions. If you have produced 2.5 million people, how did you get to one point? And what can you begin to do to rev up those production? Those oil that were disappearing in the pipelines, those uh, 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 things that we could have driven with technology that we are not driving, those engagements at the community levels where all these oil are disappearing, the involvement or possible complicity at the level of the secu some security agencies, all those things together are things we can look at and begin to see how we can take this nation back to its 2.5 million barrels per day. But unless we're saying that the budget uh, uh, people have not considered all those things and they're just making projections, okay, 
let's just put one point let's just, if that is what we have done in this budget then we just joke and there will not we will not even move near what we're talking but about. as a person have you seen as, the way approached, as a I person believe, have you seen any signs as a person have mm -hmm. you seen any signs that uh, it is possible that there are things that have been put that have been put in place to realize the exchange rate the uh, number uh, the capacity the production capacity of oil and to curb the inflation rate uh, so that we can realize whatever ambition we have in that budget have you seen any sign as a person okay um, for the for the um, foreign exchange rate um, I've, I've, um, we've, before listening to issues around scouting around or trying to get supply so there is the issue of this one billion dollars which is part of this particular budget there are discussions around another three million three billion dollars there is the issue of securitization of LNG uh, uh, dividends, which is also meant to produce certain dollars. So, if you now take that and you situate it beside the recent uh, 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 pronouncement by the CBN governor at the, at the CIBN dinner uh, about discipline, about transparency, about working with the fiscal side of the economy, it appears as if there are efforts in the works. So we, we have to open our mind and, uh, you know, and watch that space and see how that is translated to substance. As it is today, um, many of those things are still in the, I would say, in the policy realm. But making them to manifest for us, we involve a lot of work and we should, uh, we're counting on CBN to be able to make that happen. On, on oil production, we've seen oil production went as far as 931,000 barrels as low as that. That was, I believe, September 2022. Uh, but today, that same oil that was 931,000 barrels has gone up to 1.2 million barrels. So something obviously is going on. I believe that the rate at which we are improving is a bit too slow. <laughs> I would have loved to see something, um, more, something faster. But there is no doubt that we are beginning to grow the production. We need to sustain it. And whatever impediment that is still left in that space to deal with, to take it from that 1.2, 1.3, and rev it up 1.5, and possibly even further, we need to continue to put efforts in it. But for now, like you rightly said, it remains very ambitious that we will get there we depend on the work that we're willing to put in and ready to put in and the political will to make it happen. Is it surmountable? My take would be all these challenges are surmountable. Okay, um, so you, I know you talked about food production earlier. However, some people can argue that we have food production to a certain level, but the reason for the inflation rate is other factors such as transportation, power, because these farmers, they need certain things, certain machinery as well, and they have to transport these food items from wherever their farm is to the cities where they're being sold. So what, don't you think there should be some things that are being done for them to enable these farmers to be able to sell at a cheaper rate, and then we, the citizens, can also afford these things, and the inflation rates can come down a little bit. Yes, you're, you're right in the money right there. Um, the interesting thing is that it is not as if government itself is not aware by virtue of some things it has said. I remember that in that July speech, government was talking about rural roads uh, as part of the infrastructure reform that we need in the economy. Well, what does rural, rural roads, what do they do? They connect the center of production mm. to the market. So when food are produced where they are produced, they can be, I mean, foods are not produced on, on Marina or, or, or in, in, in Maryland <laughs> or Wipan. They are produced in, somewhere, in some places that are remote, they need to be moved to the market. Mm. But where the connection between these two centers um, is, is not smooth, then we have a problem. So the, that is where the rural infrastructure comes in. It would be nice to be able to dig deep into the budget to see how government mm. plan to address issues of rural roads in the current budget. Because a lot of farm produce in the midst of what we are talking about gets rotten 
in certain product categories, mm -hmm. it is as high as 40 percent of the entire thing that the farmers produce get bad because there are no ways to move them to the centers of consumption or there are storage facility problems. All those things are there. So if we look in the budget today, are we going to be able to see spending or initiatives in that direction? Or is, it, is the government going to drive the private sector to lead in this initiative? And how? Those are very important. Otherwise, we will not be able to kill because the food matter, of course, security is number one. Then what you have just mentioned now is critical without that if that proper connection to the consumption center, we will still be hungry in this country. <laughs> yes, as, as, um, as uh, the president presents the budget tomorrow, the Federal Executive Council, on the other hand, has approved one billion naira loan. And we're wondering, a government that said that they will not borrow at all is now mulling the idea of uh, one billion naira loan. And we're, we're just wondering how we'll fare next year. Well, I, I don't think the issue of not borrow <clears throat> at all is a realistic comment, uh, considering where we are. We will borrow, but we will have to borrow with decency, with the realization that we are already in a huge hole. And when you are in a hole, at least the first thing you should do is to stop digging. But under the current circumstances, there will still be need for certain borrowing. The discipline that must follow that borrowing, the kind of borrowing it has to be, uh, heavy concessionary uh, loans. And what we will put the loan to, how are we going to use it, is much, much more important. Um, so I, 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 I do not foresee a situation in which we say that we will not borrow. No. We should cut down on our borrowing. We should be disciplined about whatever we borrow. But to say we will not borrow is unrealistic from a finance perspective, considering where we are right now. Okay, I think that's where we'll have to drop it so yeah. this morning. We'd like to thank you, Bolahan, for coming on the show and sharing your thoughts with us. We wish you a happy day. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thank you so Have much. a lovely day, sir. All right, we'll go on a quick break, and when we return, we'll be looking at our next hot topic. Please stay with us. What's the next one? Don't make us. Thank you so much, sir. This one? Is logged out. this one that I'm, I'm just Coffee. putting germs in my ear and it's not working. Germs? Oh, the talk back. What's the point when it's not working? Did I initiate you into the stretching, stretching uh, club? I'm stretching because I'm not used to sitting like this. I'm used to being relaxed. So they're relaxed. I uh, know when I when I was relaxing like this, then Kaya was saying that I'm too. How did you relax? Oh, yeah, relax on Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Can you hear us? He's speaking. We can't hear you. We cannot hear you. So maybe you have to unmute if you're muted. I am mute. Okay, okay, now we can fantastic. hear you. Okay, fantastic. All right. Thank you. Say you're looking sweet. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Who said I'm looking sweet? Who said I'm looking sweet? You're looking sweet. Who said I'm looking sweet? He said you're looking sweet. Our uh, guest? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Are you sure that's what he said? Because he's looking like... No. Oh, yeah, you're looking sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let me not add what I want to add. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm looking at Top Trending instead. Um... Kind of today. International Development Advice, like a state. Are they coming to us or not? I don't know. Guys, we're